ready for dictation start at any rate the speaker continued the reporter was no longer the terror of public speakers and now only reported the speeches of the great loins of the front bench he believed that the press did work for the cause of progress but at the same time he warned his hearers of their influence in the cause of peace and implored them to hesitate before they did anything to bring about the horrors of war it is on this question of war he went on to say that you are not at one with me you must not be vexed if i venture to repeat that i cannot see why you should condemn at all times and under all circumstances the influence of the press in this matter as if it were the duty of the journalist in so many words to denounce all wars and cry for peace on every occasion a notable writer says war is scared and there can surely be no doubt that it is absolutely necessary to use force for the suppression of tyranny and wrong doing i may not be able to see you for a long time to come so i hope you will not fail to write me on this subject doubtless you will be able to find some objections to my statements still i am able to think that you will modify your views in the early future if it be not too much trouble to you will you kindly post to me the copies of the pamphlets i lent you some time ago and although you may not have read all of them perhaps you will give me your opinion on those you have perused we should exhibit charity in our words at all times and in this spirit i trust we shall always express our thoughts when writing to each other on controversial topics